G'day guys, this is Duke Diablo here to give you a quick review on DC Universe Online. Uh, I picked up DC Universe after I've been playing, it had been playing in my mind for a few weeks. I'd heard a few people talking about their experience with the beta and it sounded pretty good, but the hefty price tag of $100, $100 Australian and an ongoing subscription fee really put me off. However, the game did come with a 30 day free trial subscription uh, off the shelf, which uh, finally managed to sway me. Uh, the game is good, but it's not without massive flaws, but I'll get to those later. So when you first start your game after the massive install and patching, you'll start by creating your hero or villain. This is uh, great fun, and the outcome of the many creative variables makes for some incredibly unique characters. While you're in the rich, vast cityscape that is DC Universe, you'll find yourself stopping frequently to gawk at the huge variety of heroes and villains people have come up with. Yet the character building is so simple that your granny could probably make a better one than you. Uh, you choose your character's traits, decide your movement style, i.e. flying, fast running or acrobatics, craft your person to your liking and a few other things and then you're off to start your game. Uh, you begin with a short tutorial level which gives you a good taste of how the combat, the enemies and leveling up is going to go before moving into the main world. There's a, a short introduction video next which, which uh, quickly explains why there's so many superheroes and supervillains roaming around, but I mean, who really cares? Uh, in the world, there's two main cities. There's Gotham and Metropolis. Uh, Metropolis is in constant daylight and Gotham has permanent night, which suits each place perfectly and I believe this works better than a day-night cycle. Also, there's some other subtle weather effects I've noticed like rain in Gotham from time to time, which is nice. Uh, the cities are huge and fortunately you can move through them pretty quick. Uh, with your flying or your fast uh, running and all that. There's also a fast travel option by teleporting, but I found this far too difficult to work out. Uh, I still can't work it out. Uh, the mission system really works well and starts with a call usually from a well-known head, head honcho in your organisation. And they send you off to a, to a location guided by your minimap to beat up people or monsters or even gorillas and collect various items you usually punch out of them. Once this part of the mission is complete, you'll get some XP and it moves on into another beat up and collect session. They're slightly tougher adversaries and eventually you'll end up at a hideout of some kind where you'll work your way through to a boss, which is probably someone you've heard of before like Scarecrow or Harley Quinn. Uh, it's generally a bit more fight club with them and then a non-playable character friend helping you out or, or they might be trapped and you need to defeat the boss to free them. Uh, there's many missions like this and each different mission set can be left part way through and returned to later and you can have anywhere between 10 and 15 different missions on your list at, at, at any one time to pick from. You just activate one uh, via your on-screen menu and a helpful arrow on your minimap will uh, point you in the right direction. Each mission is given a difficulty level denoted by a number relating to the enemy you can expect to encounter which helps you decide what to do next. I should also mention it's uh, great fun teaming up with other players to take on enemies. Uh, it makes it a bit easier too. There are also many collectibles that can change your character's attrib attributes and costume as you go and the allocation of skill points, skill points combined with these pickups means you can soon end up with a character that looks and performs completely different to how uh, he, he or she started. And I think it's great and keeps it fresh as you go. Uh, there's currently a, a level cap of 30 which is easily attainable and you'll find yourself creating more than one character so there's enough to keep you playing for some time. No doubt they'll add some DLC at some point or more stuff like that. I mean it all sounds pretty good right? Uh, for the most part it is but uh, all the bugs really shit me to tears. In the two weeks I've had the game I've had only one glitch free, crash free or connection fault free session. Also I don't like the way your actions don't change the world around you, but I guess it's unavoidable in MMOs. Um, glitches are abundant, and often you'll s you may see an enemy just sliding across the ground on his butt for no apparent reason. Some enemies will just reset their health back to full in the middle of a fight. Uh, so all sorts of stupid things like that. Uh, also, if your internet connection gets interrupted, even briefly, it'll give you a connection error screen, and you've got no choice but to quit the game via the XMB and reload. Um, I've had plenty of crashes um, where you just have to get up and actually manually shut down the PS3 and restart it. But if you played Black Ops, you'll be used to that anyway. Also, there's some serious movement problems. I found my guy getting stuck in many places as he runs up a building, 
uh, even just through plants and stuff, it'll, it'll run up um, a, a lamp post, you know what I mean, the stupidest things. Um, but outside it's not as bad as inside. If you try and move fast indoors, you just end up upside down on the ceiling and, and you just need to get more practice, I suppose, to be able to do that. I've only used fast running, um, but I've talked to other people who say, uh, they're saying movement gets quite tricky to do grace, gracefully, even with acrobatics or flying. So it's these bugs that have convinced me that the development team just needed to get the game out there despite its condition and let us $100 paying suckers do their second round of beta testing. In conclusion, it is a good game and it's well worth playing, especially if you like the comics because uh, DC Universe uses a ton of characters. Uh, I mean, I've never heard of them, <laughs> but I'm sure fans of the comics will have. Uh, it's, it's not worth the current asking price, so I think it's $99.95 plus then you, after 30 days you've got to pay an on ground subscription of about $15 a month. So if I were you, I'd wait until they realise that they need to drop the price to get more people on board and also by that time they should have patched the bejesus out of it and fixed some of the major faults. Dickity-yabble out.